So first of all, before I say anything else, to everyone that's gone before me, like, I'm blown away. I have goosebumps out of control. Thank you. You guys are, you make me feel like small fries. Um, so when I began the med school application process a year and a half ago, I thought long and hard about how to condense myself into a page and a half. In particular, I found myself wondering whether or not I was going to come out. Um, now would be a good time to interject for those of you who are wondering, I am in fact gay. Uh, very, very gay. <laughs> I came out when I was 12 years old, um, and I barely had enough time to understand what the closet was before I came out of mine. Uh, seriously. Um, I had two really supportive parents, and they taught me to come out early and often. <laughs> so, it's actually not possible for me to explain my passion for healthcare without explaining that I am gay. Um, I could write volumes about the alchemic effects of all of the experiences I've had caring for gay men. Um, most of my straight friends are blown away when I let them know that I have more HIV positive friends than I do negative ones. Um, I learned how to be gay in a world where health and identity are oftentimes indiscernible. Um, and I'm fortunate to live in a world where um, the fact that I'm gay no longer determines my health future. Um, but the continued persistence of HIV as a presence in my community and in my life has helped me to become a more empathic and compassionate person. So I wanted to say all of that in my essay and more, and I had 5,300 characters, so it's really hard. <laughs> um, but eventually I did. But before I could write the essay, I had to think really, really long and hard about if, how, and why I wanted to come out. And that hesitation is actually what made me realize why it is important to come out. Um, I wanted to be honest about who I was, and I wanted to share that I'm gay, but I also didn't want the fact that I'm gay to overshadow all the other parts of me that I think are going to make me a fantastic doctor. Um, allowing myself to hesitate on that topic kind of ultimately allowed me to realize why coming out is important. In 10 years, I'm going to be on the other side of that committee, and I'm going to be reviewing applications for the future positions of America. And when I do, I want to make sure that every single person who applies to whatever school I'm at feels capable, comfortable, and confident coming out whether they're LGBTQ or not, as whoever they are, however they are. I want them to feel welcome in medicine. So between my friends and my family, I feel like I have a lot of support. Um, a lot of people are invested in my career, they want to see how it develops, but I really want to say that it's, um, like I'm sitting on the edge, I really, I'm on the verge of tears. It's really a humbling honor that, uh, <laughs> that there's, these two amazing organizations, um, everybody in the Equality Scholarship Collaborative, the Kaiser Permanente Medical Group, um, out in equal workplace advocates, that are invested in me succeeding not only as a future healthcare professional, but as a member of their community and as an out gay man. So um, it's, these organizations have made it really clear to me that medicine has a space for gay men and that that space is for me and that's incredibly moving. Um, thanks in no small part to the scholarship, I'll be attending UCSF next year. I am thrilled beyond belief. Um, so far, I plan to intern in pediatrics, um, pediatric endocrinology. Hey, see you later. <laughs> Hi, <Bye. laughs> See you in four years. Um, <laughs> Hire him. <laughs> um, I have no idea. You know, talk to me next week, talk to me in four years. I always say nobody goes to medical school and says they want to be a proctologist, but we get them, so something will happen, and we'll find something that I love. Um, but in the meantime, I'm incredibly grateful to have this opportunity to advance my career and to advance it with the support of so many amazing people uh, and my future colleagues. Um, I also want to take this time to thank everybody who helped get me here. I want to thank my mom, my dad, uh, my nana and papa, and my papa shared who's the first doctor in our family. Um, my uh, Aunt Meryl and Aunt Bruce, uh, my friends David and Daniel, and everybody that helped get me here. And again, everyone in the Equality Scholarship Collaborative, Kaiser Permanente Medical Group, and that equal uh, workplace advocates. Um, I could not be here without everyone supporting me. Thank you so much.